Hello everyone. Welcome you all. In this session, I am going to take the difference between the petrol and diesel engines. Already in the previous sessions, I am discussed about the working of the petrol engine and diesel engines separately. Now, we should know that what are the differences are there between the working of the petrol and diesel engines. Mainly, we know that one, the petrol engine is somewhat different which works on the petrol, petrol fuel and diesel engine which works on the diesel fuel. The petrol and diesel has two different fuels. And that's why here I am going to take the difference between the two engines by taking this two diagrams we can explain the what are the main differences are there between the two engines. First starting from the fuel user we can come to know that one by the name itself that is a petrol engine which works on the petrol fuel and diesel engine works on the diesel fuel. Now next one the whatever the charge entering to the engine cylinder that is for the intake stroke the water are the charge enters into the engine cylinder for the combustion that is in the petrol engine it consists of a carburetor carburetor is the device which mixes the petrol and air properly that functions are three it atomizes the petrol, mixes with the air and proper petrol and air mixture it supplies to the engine cylinder during the intake stroke as this consists of a carburetor for mixing the petrol and air. Therefore, the mixture entering to the engine cylinder is the petrol and air mixture during the suction stroke. That is the second difference. First difference is the Fuel use, second difference is the that is mixer entering to the that engine cylinder during the suction stroke. In the diesel engine, here in the diesel engine during the intake stroke only air enters into the engine cylinder. Only air enters into the engine cylinder. Okay, that it will not having any carburetor for mixing. Therefore, only air will be entering to the engine cylinder. Then <coughs> The compression is taking place after that one and here the lower compression ratio is there. Okay, after the section next one is compression stroke in that the compression ratio whatever is there that is the lower compression ratio. The whatever the pressure attaining in the compression that will be lower in this one. Here fuel compression will be taking place and here higher compression ratio is there. The higher compression ratio. Here about the 7 is to 1 to the 12 is to 1 the compression ratio will be there and here it will be around the compression ratio is 1 is to 14 to the 1 is to uh, 12 is to 1 to the 22 is to 1 the compression ratio it will be there. The compression ratio is the ratio between the total volume to the clearance volume. The total whatever the volume is there and the clearance volume means when it reaches to the that top dead center this piston then the remaining volume what is there that is called as clearance value that ratio is called as compression ratio and that is plays an important role during the power okay that is the lower compression ratio and higher compression ratio this is the third difference whatever is there and that will be placed for the power also and later we will take how much power is there that is next difference and after compression the ignition of the fuel will, should take place and in the petrol engine, the electric spark is provided for the combustion of the fuel. There is a spark plug which ignites the fuel by providing the spark. That's why the petrol engine is also called as a spark ignition engine. Okay, by the spark, it will be get ignited due to that, it is called as a spark ignition engine. And in this one, there is no spark plug. At the end of the compression stroke, the diesel is pumped from the fuel pump 
to the injector the fuel injector only diesel is coming here and from the diesel injector the fuel injector the fuel is injected into into the compressed air as a smaller particles a smaller droplets the fuel will be diesel will be injected into the compressed air because of the higher compression ratio at a higher pressure the compression whatever taken place <coughs> the temperature inside the engine cylinder is higher enough to get ignite the diesel when as soon as enters into the this compressor air okay and therefore the fuel droplets uh, what are there those will enters into the this compressor air from the fuel injector those will be get ignited and this type of ignition what we call that is a compression ignition due to the comp higher compression ratio only the ignition taking place that is a compression ignition this is about the that whatever the fourth one is there then next one here regarding the power production what is that that we can take that is the power due to the lower compression ratio power produced will be lower here and due to higher compression ratio means higher air will be there and more fuel we can burn and whatever the fuel is there okay the per uh, kg its density is more therefore the more fuel we can burn by using the higher compression ratio more power will be produced from this and this whatever is there it is having the lighter flywheel due to the <coughs> that is lighter lower power production therefore the engine whatever is there it is lighter only the engine whatever is there it is the lighter then here the heavy engine it will be there and heavy flywheel we are going to use in this one the a diesel engine then the whatever this petrol engines are there these are used for the that is smaller vehicles that is motorcycles mopeds okay that uh, small that even the uh ships okay that is small boats and for that we are going to use and this is the heavy vehicles that is trucks cars and buses for that the heavy vehicles it can be used then the efficiency whatever is the efficiency will be lower for the petrol engine and this higher for the this diesel engine then cycle of operation for the completion of them four strokes four stroke one cycle whatever we we'll call that cycle of operation what is there that is the auto cycle for the petrol engine auto cycle for the petrol engine that means suction compression expansion or a power and exhaust whatever this cycle continue, uh, continues that one that will be by the auto cycle that is also called as a constant volume cycle constant volume cycle and this is the whatever this diesel engine is there this works on the diesel cycle the diesel cycle on that it will works and this is the constant uh, fresher cycle it is it is a constant fresher cycle on the pv diagram you can see it is and like this the few of the differences we can note here and from that now we can write the this differences between the petrol and the diesel engine okay and these differences also mention uh, here these are the the some of the differences what are there concern to the particular definition fuel used petrol as a fuel is used here diesel is as a fuel operating cycle it operates on the auto cycle this operates on the diesel cycle the compression ratio low compression ratio high compression ratio. thermal efficiency thermal efficiency is higher for this one lesser thermal efficiency and method of ignition it is a spark plug is used to produce the spark for the ignition and heat compressor air is used for the ignition engine speed is high speed engines low speed engines pressure generator low pressure is generated after the combustion high pressure is generated after the combustion constant parameter during the cycle this is a constant volume cycle this is the constant pressure cycle intake air plus fuel is used only air is used this is weight of the engine si engine has a less weight lesser weight is there that components are 
lighter one. CI engine is heavier. Noise production it produces a less noise. It is produces a more more noise due to higher compression ratio. Production of the hydrocarbon less hydrocarbon is produced and more hydrocarbon are produced and burnt hydrocarbons what are there present in the fuel those will be production will be more in this one here it will be less starting starting of the SI engine is easy we can start easily this one and starting of the SI engine is somewhat difficult maintain cost is low for the petrol engine that will be higher for this one vibration there will be less vibration for petrol engine high very high vibration for the diesel engine cost of the engine is petrol engine is lower and high cost is there for the diesel engine and value to power ratio is less and high power will be there fuel supply by the carburetor and this is by the injector application it is used for the light commercial vehicles like motorcycle cars etc it is used for heavy duty vehicles like bus trucks ships etc with this that is a, i covered the most of the differences few more differences may be there but these are the enough for the distinguish between the petrol and the diesel engine thanks for watching subscribe comment and uh, watch the some more videos in the next sessions thank you once again for watching